So this feels really weird. I've never done this before. So you see all these scratches that are here, these lovely, lovely scratches. Um, yeah, people asked, well, I asked, and people said, yeah, they'd love to buy them. If, if you want to buy one, let me know at backbedroomart at gmail.com, and uh, you can purchase one of these for yourself. So um, £10 each. If you're interested, email me. If you're not, well, you're not. <laughs> it's, but it's, I have to sort of like cover my costs. So the postage alone is is a couple of quid. Um, the inserts as well, a few quid. The resin, quite a few quids. Um, the moulds themselves, when I brought them, it's, it adds up, plus, plus obviously my time, because they take a while to go. These are my favourite. These are my favourite. They're made out of the shavings from scratch cards. And don't they look nice? You watch this as well. Scratch, so nice. They're my favourites. Right, anyway, um, if you're interested, let me know at the uh, email address I mentioned a little bit early on, backbedroomart at gmail.com, and uh, we'll sort something out. But I will only take payments through um, PayPal. So before anybody starts asking me for my bank details, <laughs> no, no, for obvious reasons. I should have done this early, shouldn't I? These are almost like Christmassy ones. Right, look after yourselves. Um, I don't want to say that. Let's go back to the video. Hello and welcome to Life of Paul and welcome to 10, 20, 30 pound of scratch cards. So two of the Xmas, two of the win, whatever amount it says there, and five of the Jolly Seven. So 30 pound. I'm going to use the um, the gingerbread man. These gingerbread man scratches, I don't know what I've done. Sprinkled some luck into them, that's for sure. Right, um, let's hope it continues in this video as well. So 30 pound in play, spin that camera, Paul. Let's get a scratch in. So Jolly Seven starts at 76. And then you can guess what the next number is. And just in case you can't, it's 77. There you go. It's giving it away. <laughs> Let's see if we can recreate what's on the prize table. So seven, seven, oh, on skate. No, so that's not on the prize table. Coin and earmuff, nope. Coin and a igloo, nope. Seven and a mountain, no, it's a dud. Come on, I bigged you up. You notice he's naked, by the way. He's got a scarf and a hat, but mind you, they are buttons, aren't they? I suppose he's wearing something, but it's flesh. Ah, Paul, you're overthinking it, aren't you? You're overthinking it. Don't try and ruin gingerbread man for people. Okay, here we go. So, coin <laughs> 20 quid. Come on. Ah, it was earmuffs. Seven, seven, coin. Oh, that's a tenner. He's done it again. He's done it again. Seven, seven coin, seven, seven coin, ten pound on a two pound card. Thank you kindly. And I've still got a few more to go. That's got to be a win, isn't it? There's got to be a win. That many coins. Gingerbread man. Are you going to do it for me? You're going to give me something really spectacular. Mind you, ten pound on a two pound card was coin. Igloo, coin, seven, seven, five pound. Coin, scarf, coin, seven, put, oh, I thought it was going to be, coin, seven, oh, I thought we were going to get another tenner. Take the fiver, though. Yes, yes. The, the video's not over, though. So don't get too excited, Paul. It could all fall flat on its face or deflate like one of my meringues that I bake. So coin, bell, seven, ski lift, coin, seven, hat. One last one. Can we get one last win? I know I don't deserve another win on these cards, but I would be grateful. Coin, calendar. Seven, seven, tenner. Go on, that'd be nice. Put <laughs> Right. Those jolly sevens left me jolly. Let's try to win whatever amount it says. And yes, I am being lazy when I say that, but uh, there you go. You can read it for yourself. <laughs> it's the name of the card. Pretty boring. 32, 33. Oh, you needed a five for a fiver, and you need 10 for a tenner, so no win there. Can we find one of those lovely elusive mini bags 
Find a mini bag, get an auto win. Get an auto win. Get a smile on your face. Like that. Um, I'm not going to spin the camera around to show, me, show you me smiling, but I guarantee you, guarantee you, I, trust me, I'm smiling. Right, you can also match as well as get the money back. So looking for number two. Nope. What about 13? Nope. 26. Oh, no. 39? Nope. 37? Nope. 16? No. I've had all of them, but I haven't had £50 yet. Will this be the one? Tenner? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this fella. Which is one of five as well. Um, you can win more. Let's hope for another money bag. Another ten would be nice. So I'm not greedy, am I? I'm not greedy. Ten pound do me. I just realised as well that five pound at the top. I got my money back, and I haven't finished scratching this card. And I got the two Xmas cards. Am I? Am I in line for a profit session? Let's hope for a match. Match one number, and we've got a profit session. So no number four. No number nine. No 37. What about 13? No. Oh. Ooh, I thought I had that. 22. Nope. And 25. We've only got 25. Let's see. Sometimes they do it again. 25, unsurprisingly, for a fiver. We just want another tenner. We're in profit. We're in profit. I'm just double checking the other numbers. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, let's try Xmas then. I don't know how I managed to achieve this, but I got from the same strip triple zero and 59, both ends. Lovely. So let's go looking for money bags. So we're already in profit. Let's hope we can increase. Release it. So mini bag for an auto win, like just like the other card. See the diamond? Well, you'll see me, or maybe even hear me, swear. Because so that's win everything. I always like getting 55. I always think that's a good omen. Okay, let's go looking. Because I've got no symbols. Can I find 27? I cannot find 27, but I might be able to find 49. Nope, can't find 49. Number seven? Nope. How about four? No. 25? No. <laughs> For a times two, can I find number 14? Nope. And last but not least, times five, looking for 38. Nope, it's a dude. They can't all be winners, can they? Right, 59. Last card on the strip. Let's hope they realise, oh, we haven't put in enough winners. So let's bung a winner on the last card of the strip, and they have done. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Is that 55 again? Wasn't lucky on the last one, but it might be on this one. It's my lucky 13. Okay, here we go. 21. Nope. 29. No. What about 42? Nope. 54. That's a shame. We didn't have 54, what about 15? No. Can we get times two? -er? 11. No. And for times five, looking for 18. It's probably a fiver. It's 
definitely a fiver. <laughs> but I'll take it. We won on a load of cards, didn't we? Let's, let's, I'm going to, do you know what? It's been eight since I've done this, and I think this video deserves it. Let's spin that camera. So we had nine cards in play. Four duds, five winners. Pretty special, isn't it? Let's add them up. Let's see what we want. So, um, five pound. And five and five for ten pounds. That's now 15. And a ten pound win, so that's 25. And we've got a coin seven seven, coin seven seven five so that's um thirty pound, that's my money back. And then I've got a seven seven coin for a tenner, so that's forty pound. So thirty pound spent, forty pound back, ten pound profit. Thank you very much, little gingerbread scratcher. These guys are on fire, I'm telling you. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm I know I did. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in another video real soon where I hope to bring these bad boys out and uh, scratch another profit session. Look after yourself, knows you love. Cheerio, everyone. Bye.